Hey guys, welcome to another fun day. We're gonna be sewing a renaissance dress today. This is for personal progress and yeah, we're gonna do that. This one, yeah, we're sewing the next one for, yeah. <laughs> So now I'm gonna sew two of the sides down a little bit where I just surged so that it looks nice, I think. <laughs> now we're gonna surge this on all the sides. Okay, next we're going to cut this out. Okay, so I cut out two of those uh, parts that are like the shirt parts, the corset-esque part, and now I'm gonna sew them along the bottom, just like that. Okay, now I'm gonna serge it. We just barely pinned it and where those lines were that we just drew on and I'm gonna sew on those lines now. And I finished. Now I'm gonna surge them. Okay, so 
me and my mom, we're doing the stomacher part of it, where basically I just merge this, or surge this, <laughs> and yeah. Okay, so I don't think I showed you guys this, but this stuff, this board thingy that we just put behind it is actually pretty sturdy. Like, if it was normal material, it would bend a lot more. But because it's like sturdy, it's kind of like having a thick piece of paper on the back. And this is gonna make the corset part of this really nice. Now that part's finished. Okay, so my mom uh, for this part is gonna actually help me because this is something that uh, more experienced sewers uh, do better than not experienced, and I'm not that experienced, so I'm gonna let her do it. So my mom is actually sewing on this ribbon stuff right now. Cording. Yeah, it's cording. And I missed some of it because I wasn't paying attention, but yeah, it looks very regal and nice. My mom is gonna use something called fray check and she's gonna put that on the end of it so that it doesn't actually fray like a lot. It's kind of like a glue, but it just makes things not fray. Okay, let that dry. Woohoo! Okay, so my mom is gonna sew some lace on the top real quick. So this part of the dress is like super complicated and so I'm gonna let her do the, this part. Look how cool that looks. Oh, I'm so excited! And this is it! We finished! We're kind of listening to the uh, scriptures while we do this so that I can get my Book of Mormon thing finished as well for personal progress. Okay. This is what it's gonna look like once it's sewed in. It's gonna look cool! Okay, so this thing that we just made is gonna be like a puffy sleeve thing. It's gonna like go on my shoulder, like right there. And we're just gonna continue from here. So we've got the dress right here. Ooh, mom just dropped some stuff. We're gonna start bunching it up, right? Gathering it. Gathering it, and then we're gonna sew it. Okay, for this gathering, what I'm gonna have to do is sew on either side of this black thread right here. And what that's gonna do is as soon as it's all sewn on there, we're gonna like pull it and then the, the thing will start bunching up and gathering. So let's do that. Now I'm gonna gather it. Okay, so I've been sewing a shirt to go underneath the top vest part thing, and it's like a bluish color, bluish green, but yeah, it looks really cool.
Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew this and we're going to thread through afterwards uh, elastic. So I'm making the elastic hole. <laughs> and done. And we're going to put, like, if you can see there's like that little tunnel-ish thing, we're going to put elastic through that. And we're going to use this hole right here, right there, to put the elastic in. Okay, now that I've finished like the top part of this and I've already sewn up the hole to make sure it doesn't come out and the elastic's already in, I am going to start on the sleeves now and I'm going to put elastic around the ends of them. There's one side done. And there's the second side. So we just barely finished sewing the two, like the bottom and the top together. And now what we're doing is we're just doing finishing touches. We're putting on some clasps in the back and stuff to make sure that it like stays okay. And then we'll be done. Ah! This is really exciting. This is taken like two days to do and I'm super excited for it. Okay guys, like this dress took so long to make. It was two days and it was crazy two days, but here it is. It's finally done. We actually, I didn't film this part, but we made these as well. And they were kind of interesting to make. If you notice, there's like felt on right here. This is like to stretch it out a bit because it was cut a little small. It's velvet, but it kind of matches uh, the velvet up here as well. But yeah, we did that and it ties up here because they actually did a lot of like ribbons and stuff like that. And like just for Renaissance stuff. And then here is the top piece that me and my mom were making. And I think it looks really good. We kind of did a similar like style on these as well and this is the shirt that I was sewing and I'm just so happy with it and so there's the bottom of it this actually has a clasp up here it clasps two places because it's like a wraparound dress where it wraps around the front and then the back actually wraps around it as well so if you notice there's this part that's the back of the dress that wraps in front and clasps and then this right here actually clasps in the back so that's pretty cool. Yeah, here's my dress. So we're here at the Renaissance Festival and we're gonna have a picnic soon. And Jennifer's playing that. And this is the picnic basket. Love it. <laughs> this is not actual wine, it's grape juice. This is really want to grapes. <laughs> this is also grapes, these are apples. This is salt, and this is eggs, like boiled eggs. Let's see, boiled eggs. And I'm a queen, and I'm wearing the dress that I made. It's finished, and I'm so happy. Yep, but we're here at this Renaissance Festival, and it's pretty good. Ooh. Ryan is a fat man. See what you did there? You told a joke that wasn't funny, so you we're setting up, and yeah. these are grapes, and I'm hungry, so I'm gonna eat a few. Why? How many times do you get to go out and just have fun like this They're together? So good. Yeah, like, like a like picnic. Earlier. We have so dates pick and like figs as well over here. And they're picnic. super good. And this is a ham. It's not warm anymore, but it was warm when we packaged it. <laughs> oh, I come hey. Hey. Hello. Hello. Haha! Jessica's popping open the wine. She's gotten the wax seal already broken, and soon she's gonna open it. Oh, she did! Woohoo! They're gonna fill up the goblets. I've got my own, and I'm gonna get them to fill it up too. It's really just grape juice. So for the Scandinavian fair, we actually did a, a meal that's actually authentic. No, the Renaissance fair. Or Renaissance, sorry. Renaissance fair, and we made the meal, and it's authentic. We have like figs and dates, and like. We have grape juice instead of wine because we don't drink wine. <laughs> but yeah, it's really fun. We got cheese and there's like boiled eggs and. Yeah. I'm good. 